Okay, so let's move on to the next presentation. Next is the last presentation of the session. The title is Modeling of uh, Pedestrians Pedestrians Crossing uh, Pedestrians Crossing a Crosswalk and Robot Navigation Based on Its Characteristics. The presenter is Daisuke Chugo. Oh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, can I see um, our, my screen? Yes, clearly. Yeah. And uh, Professor Okui, uh, the timer uh, is not correct, I think. Please reset. Okay, I, I start the presentation. Uh -huh. okay, and okay. my type of title is uh, Modeling of Pedestrians Crossing the Cross World and Robot Navigation Based on Its Characteristics. So first, I show the motivation and uh, I show the objective. Next, um, I explain the walking rules on crosswalks in crowded environment. And I propose a pedestal model on crosswalks and I propose a robot navigation considering the characteristics of pedestal model. And I show the performance of proposed system. And last, I will conclude this research. Okay. So first, passing through crosswalk is an important function of autonomous mobile robots. From 2018, the Tsukuba Challenge requires robots to pass crosswalk in real environments at this. Required condition for crosswalk, two major problems is here. The so one is the robot has to avoid pedestrians and obstructs safely. And then the other is the robot has to pass through the crosswalk in the short time while the signal is green. And in general, the robot navigation, there are trade off issues. In pedestrian flows, sidewalks and crosswalks are different. Pedestrian flows. In the crosswalk, not, sorry, okay. In the crosswalks, signals generate and determine the pedestrian flow, and people have walking way across the crossing in time. In previous studies, a robot navigation does force the pedestrian flow but it can't handle a crosswalk and analytical study of pedestrian flow, it needs to be able to see all the pedestrians. However, it is difficult for real robots. So there is no previous research on the robot guidance methods through the crowded crosswalks. So our objective is this. For realizing this objective, we propose a pedestrian model on crosswalk and we propose a robot navigation scheme using the investigated pedestal model on a crosswalk. Okay, so first I explain the working rules on the crosswalk. And for in process of the pedestal flow generation, people, so first people waiting for signal, the person surrounded by a control scroll colored circle is a pedestrian who is the first in the pedestal group find crossing. The person indicated by the same arrow is the front of the group of the stage that will be passed by other later. The location marked with X is where the later pedestrian will finally arrive. We can see that the leading pedestrians avoid each other. Just before the light turn green, people started to cross the street. People walk at a different speed. The leader pedestrian passed an oncoming pedestrian. The leader pedestrian has taken a pass into the space with a few oncoming pedestrians. Like this, like this. Finally, a pedestrian floor began to form. The pedestrian group was advancing in the great shape into the space where there are a few oncoming pedestrians. And the pedestrian floor was completed. The pedestrian crossed the crosswalk without collision to each other. From this explanation, in the process of generating the pedestrian flow in a crosswalk, pedestrian can be classified into two types, the leader pedestrian like this, and the follower pedestrian like this. As a result, pedestrian flows are generated. Okay, we, I propose a pedestrian model on crosswalk. Pedestrian interact with each other at crosswalks. So we propose the agent-based pedestrian flow model. In pedestrian flow generation, avoidance by moving away from the pedestrian in different directions and 
forming group with pedestrian in same direction, then we have two functions. So we propose a pedestrian model based on Boyd's model. In Boyd's model, pedestrians who are crossing a make a graduated change of walking paths according to the pedestrian around them. F is a, that is, F is a path change vector which varies with the position of the surrounding engines. The term path change vector F contains three vectors, separation vector, alignment vector, and alignment vector, and margin vector. Combination of vectors obtained from the three rules to achieve crossing and press the avoidance. That's this. In, leader, in case of leader pedestrians, uh, only the collision, only the separation vector is used. And for the performer pedestrian mode, all, vector, all vectors are used. In separation vector, the position, uh, sorry, the separation vector and uh, alignment vector and margin vector. And please read the proceedings since there is enough time to uh, explain explanation. In simulation setup, our simulator uses a typical crosswalk, crosswalk time, short version and long size version. The radius of each agent was set to 0.4 meter using the average Japanese shoulder wise. And each agent can acquire the position and velocity of another agent within a three meter radius in front of it because the setting of the based on the pedestrian characteristics. This is a, a sorry, this is a simulation result in short, short, short version. The agents start to go to the opposite side and the agent group arise. And the agent change their walking direction to area with fewer agents on the other side and agent groups then pass each other and agent each other and agent group can pass the, uh, the agent finished the crossing. This is the short version and long version is here. Long version. And pedestrian flow occurred in nine seconds. Okay, so from this result, uh, we can check that our uh, pedestrian model can realize a smooth passing and can generate the pedestrian flow. So we can verify that the pedestrian model proposed in this study on crosswalk is reasonable. Okay. I propose a robot navigation considering characteristics of a pedestrian model. Robots pass determination by the article potential method from pedestrian model consistency, like this. Um, attraction to the goal is FD and the person from other pedestrians is F. F is, uh, F is derived in the Pedestal, um, our investigative for pedestal model. So the F is set by this, by this. Okay. The destination of the robot crossing a crosswalk is not specific point, but a range, because the purpose of the robot passing through a crosswalk is to finish crossing it. So any place where the robot finishes crossing a crosswalk can be its destination. In the, our robot has two modes, a rear mode and forward mode, further forward mode. And the robot sets a, a approximate goal position in each mode considering pedestrian characteristics. In leader mode pedestrian, the first, the tender settings target position and step two, Decision on the direction of the travel. Step three, update the new goal position. Because uh, since it is important for the robot to complete the crossing in time, the robot sets a new goal point on the robot's side of the crosswalk, which is the shortest path of the crossing. This procedure is repeated until the robot crosses completely. On the other hand, for a, in polar pedestrian mode, the first step one, 
tentative setting of the target position. And step two, selecting the target for tracking. And step three, sorry, step three, update the new goal position. Using, using these rules, the lobster sets the position to be tracked as a new goal position and follows the pedestrian. This procedure is repeated until the robot crossings completely. This is a simulation result in, the, in case of leader pedestrian mode. The robot is traveling at the head of the pedestrian floor as a leader pedestrian, avoiding the oncoming other, pe sorry, other pedestrians. And this is a simulation result in case of the follower pedestrian mode. The robot sets the goal point for the pedestrian to be tracked and travel to join the pedestrian floor. I show thus I show the performance of robot skin. Our prototype is here, and the first leader pedestrian mode. The robot traveled on the trajectory to avoid the oncoming pedestrians as a leader pedestrians. After that, as a pedestrian moving in the same direction, uh, placing the robot, so the robot switched to the follower mode pedestrian mode. And this is the follower pedestrian mode. A pedestrian in front of the robot was ta targeted to do for the flow immediately after the start, and the robot completed the crossing by simply following the target pedestrian sizes. Now, let me conclude this research. Uh, what time is uh, uh, because the timer is stopped? It's uh, about 11 minutes. Oh, very sorry. Uh, okay. It's okay. Uh, okay. 11, it's okay. So thank you very much for kind attention. Okay. Okay. Just just twelve minutes. Yeah. I'm very sorry. Yes. No. 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 It's okay. 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 No problem. <laughs> it's perfect presentation time. So thank you very much. And are there any questions or comments? Hi. Yes, I have a question. Uh, you show the experimental movie and uh, simulation movie. Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, uh, how can I say uh, not a quantitative evaluation. Uh -huh. So, do you have any quantitative consideration or evalu evaluation result? Uh, okay. Uh, in, in, in... It is difficult to quantitatively, uh, quantitatively uh, evaluate the flow of the people. So uh -huh. uh, we try to evaluate it it's using these values. So please wait. Uh, OK. And, uh, and this is a simulation result. We, uh, we uh, evaluate is that do two, in, two of these indexes, traveling time and approaching within 0.5 meters of the pedestrian. And this means a uh, very uh, emergency situation. And uh, in, in traveling time, the, the robot was able to pass quickly by using the proposed method. And the effectiveness of proposed method was high in crowded walks. And because uh, uh, number 36 in version, the performance is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is the same tendency is approaching mm -hmm. this. And mm -hmm. the number of the dangerous approaches between the robots and the pedestrian was reduced by using the proposed method. And in, in mm -hmm. small, small, small number of people, there is no problem. But the mm -hmm. large number and the approach, approach, uh, approaching is occurred. But the mm -hmm. using a proposed method approaches is uh, approach time is very, very reduced. So uh -huh. we can verify, uh, we think we can verify that the proposed system is effective. Oh, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Okay, are there any questions or comments? One more question can be acceptable. Okay, I have another questions, question. Uh, and uh, follow when the robot follow the uh, human leader. Yeah. That is a follower mode. Yeah. 
um, how the robot identify the human leader because uh, uh, there are a lot of people around the robot how the robot identify the leader person okay and uh, uh, I'm sorry the, uh, I'm sorry I cannot I, I don't explain these these points and uh, please wait and, uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, for a more this, and uh, actually, the our robot uh, does not need to identify the people because the uh, robot uh, follows uh, uh, follows the fast 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 walking velocity uh, of the. Uh, a uh, 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 velocity pedestrian, the robot will be will uh, will follow. Mm -hmm. If the um, if the um, robot uh, missed the follow um, missed the follower walk pedestrians, or if the another pedestrian is more good condition, robot switch to the switch to the more good condition of pedestrian, pedestrians. So this okay. procedure is repeated. So mm -hmm. uh, identification is not required for mm -hmm. our proposed system. Okay, understand. Thank you very much. Okay, it's, a, it's a time to the end of uh, the Professor Chugo's presentation. Thank you very much, Chugo. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, now, it is the end of the session, so I would like to close the session. Thank you for all of the attendees and the presenters. Thank you very much. And the next, next session will start at 7.15 in UTC and 14.15 uh, in JST. So please come again and uh, let's uh, discuss together. Thank you very much. <laughs>